Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so this is Herr Verde. Um, we're gonna do some silver hunting today. Um, so first off, I'm gonna start with my setup. Usually I have a tray. I can just dump uh, the roll of coins in. So that way I don't lose any coins. Then I have baggies uh, full of non-silver uh, coins. So that way if I find something that's silver in the roll, uh, I could just replace it really quick. Uh, so, <coughs> Recently, I've been finding like a lot of good silver uh, at the bank I go to. Um, uh, at my new job, I get paid bi-weekly, which is pretty sweet. So I tend to check them out. Oh, it's also nice that the bank I go to, they also uh, hold rolls of coins for me. So we have this like good thing going. So uh, hopefully I can find some silver. Found some ridiculous stuff last time, so let's get started. Um, <coughs> So for those of you who don't know, anything that is 1964 uh, or lower is silver. Um, pretty, I think they changed the rolls or the coins because silver started worth more than the actual face value. Uh, but I don't know how they, the government actually went through probably millions upon millions of dollars worth of coins to get that silver back. Nothing in that roll. I have to say, <laughs> that would be a quite um, interesting to live in that time when everything <coughs> that you got was silver. So what I do is I usually just check the sides. This is just the quickest way. Pretty much anyone that knows uh, how to hunt for silver coins um, they do this, um, it's just fast. Some people look for proof marks, I don't. Um, I don't got time for that. Uh, have a cold right now. Summer cold. So, it's just lingering and lingering and lingering. Uh, let's see, anything in this one? Nope. Usually I do the quarters before I do the dimes first, just because uh, with quarters you get nothing. It's really rare. Like I think last time I looked for through silver or for silver quarters, I found like four, which is pretty damn amazing. Uh, and that one also. <clears throat> but uh. Yeah, usually I start with those and then I end with the dimes, because dimes, usually you find the good stuff. Um, damn, I thought I'd find something. Usually, like, in the re weird rolls, off, like, these really kind of old-looking rolls or beat up, usually that's where the silver is. Uh, but, nope. But typically, I like to end by uh, going through that silver. Or going through the dimes, I should say. Because usually I find the silver in the dimes. One thing uh, I hate is when you um, go through the dimes and you don't find shit. So you're like, why, why do I even want to go through the quarters? If I didn't find anything in the dimes, I doubt I'm going to find anything in the quarters. <laughs> and there's been times uh, I've had like $500 with the quarters and found nothing way wasted my time, but, you know, I, I occasionally you never know, you never know. Um, I, I doubt I'm going to find anything with uh, these rolls, just because <laughs> this is, like, probably $110 with the quarters. I didn't count it out. Usually I only count it out when uh, I'm at the bank getting it, and when I'm at the bank returning it, so, uh, yeah. For those of you that think, uh, there's actually a lot of people that, like my friends, they think this is pretty fucking ridiculous I do this. Uh, they're like, oh, you're wasting your time, you can actually just buy them. Um, I'll just do that roll. Um or buy silver online, and I'm like, yeah, that, that's, you can do that, but it's not as fun. Uh, we, I don't see the copper on that one. 
Oh shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, 1952. That's definitely silver. Um, yeah, that, that, wow. Shit, dude. Uh, man, I did not expect that. So, yeah. <coughs> it's $140 for the quarters. And found, uh, one silver quarter. Uh, that, that, <laughs> that, that's a good find. Um, oh yeah, by the way, uh, the person I've been finding this, these silver out of, labels are rolls, so I kind of feel bad for them that they don't know what they have. Like, they've been just, just giving me so much silver, like. I don't know why people don't know about this, but like, how do you not know that there's silver in coins, you know? Before I would roll up anything, I would check just because you never know, you don't want to be that person just giving away silver, but then again, makes my life so much better, finding the silver. <coughs> so there's a few dime rolls by this person, so... Um, yeah, I've, I've <laughs> last time, last time I got like 17 silver dimes and four silver quarters, so uh, hopefully this trend continues and hopefully this person keeps on turning rolls in at the bank because goddamn, just, just give me all your shit. <laughs> just gotta be like Negan, give me your shit. He probably says it better, more authoritative, does have a club or a bat, Lucille. Anyone watch The Walking Dead? Kind of excited for that new season coming out soon. <clears throat> All at war with the saviors. I don't know, I've been like reading the comics, so I kind of know how it's going to go down. Uh, but I still watch the show because, you know, the show still kind of deviates. Plus, you know, you got Daryl. Um, that guy, I mean. When I first started watching the show, I was like, what the hell is going on? Who are all these people? Who the hell is Daryl? But then everyone's like, oh, Daryl dies, we riot. I mean, he could die. I honestly like, would be like, oh, damn, there goes like the most badass person in the show. Um, if, he, the, the way, if he does die, I want to see him like take out like 50 people or some shit like that. Just just die hard, dude. If, if he just gets like shot in the face, like he almost did in that one season by Andrea, I'd be so pissed off. He has to die pretty epically for... Oh, what the shit. i also been getting a lot of this recently. Where some, like, asshole puts in, like, nickels. And, uh... That shit's intentional. I'm just gonna say it right up. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm not, like, just re-rolling it... <coughs> With the uh, nickels in there. Because someone else could get this roll. You know, like... Someone need laundry money or something. course for their laundry. Um, and then they get shorted out 40 cents. Um, or short out... Whatever. I, I just want to, like, pass this bullshit on someone else. I mean... What the hell, dude? Why do you gotta, like... St it's like you're saving 40 cents... Like, really? Really? You, you, you just can't... Fucking... What the f... Mm. I hate when I see that shit. Um, just, just irritates the shit out of me. Um, cause, I mean, you know, if, if you silver hunt, you occasionally see, like, the Canadian shit in there. Um, I can understand because, I mean, it's it's... Roughly the same diameter as an American quarter or as an American dime if you have a Canadian dime in there, but like nickels This shit doesn't doesn't even compare to quarters. What the fuck? Like, <sighs> oh Well, um At least I got one silver quarter. I mean that's kind of worth it uh, Haven't looked at coinflation recently for the price of silver what a quarter's worth Used to be all up in that, like every day checking it. 
Um, nothing in that roll. And um, yeah, but recently I haven't. I've just been hoarding silver. I usually, if I'm like gonna go, oh, damn, fuck this roll. I hate these beat up rolls sometimes. It's really hard to get the pores back in. <clears throat> but usually when I uh, I'm gonna go actually buy silver, like off of uh, eBay or some website and buy it by like the ounce or the gram or whatever. I usually check coinflation to see like how much over melt am I paying for this and seeing like if I get a better deal somewhere else. Um, that's what I usually do. Okay. Last roll of quarters. God, so kind of bummed out about that. It's fucking nickels. Lost 40 cents, but whatever. Nothing in this one. Like one time I found a penny in a roll of dimes. It's like, really? It's not even the same color. Like, not even close. Like, I just don't get people. Um, if you really think about it, it's kind of sad. If, like, I mean, if you're really that strapped for cash, maybe. I should probably stop being salty about that. <laughs> um, nothing, damn. Does anyone watch The String? The show's pretty bitchin'. It's actually one of my favorite shows right now. I'm sad it's ending. It has two episodes left as of the time I'm filming this. Second to last episode's tonight. Um, what's funny is, like, uh, I actually did not even, like, think about watching that show until uh, I was taking first semester physics. This one girl in my class was all like, yeah, I love Guillermo del Toro and everything he does. So I started watching it and I was like, wait, do they look different? And she's like, yeah. Is it like kind of like, is there like this like unique anatomy to them? Or is it just like some bullshit? Like, you know, your typical vampire shit. She's like, no, they're, they're unique. There's like some like plot going down. And like uh, one afternoon I just like binge watched like the first seven episodes of the first season. And then I was like, oh, dude, this is this is. Amazing stuff. Um, kind of wish I had a cult following like um, The Walking Dead. But the, the sad thing is about The Strain, it already has an ending. Whereas The Walking Dead, it does not. Uh, I don't even know. I can't remember the name of the guy that does Walking Dead. But, um... Oh, 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 oh. What the... Um... Oh, oh, it's Swedish? Uh, wait, what's Helvetia? Um, Sweden? Sweden? Yeah? No? Uh, whatever. Um, that's an interesting find. Never seen one of those doing this. Uh, see, I couldn't understand this. Because, I mean, if you compare it, I mean, they're roughly the same size. <coughs> and if you just got a stack of these things, it makes a little bit more sense that you would, like, kind of put one of those in there. Especially if you have kids, you know, helping you out. Or something, but those nickels. No, I'm not giving a pass to that shit. Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> okay, let's see. I fucking hate when, like, um, you go through, like, one time I went through $800 worth of dimes and quarters. Nothing. Like, that is the sh that is just the worst. Usually I also try to get half dollars, but, um, 
Wells Fargo cut me off. They're like, oh, you need to get a bank account with us. And I'm like, oh, I hate fucking getting a bank account with that kind of bank because it's like, oh, you have to spend, you have to have X number of transactions, X number of amount in your account, uh, your account, X number of money deposited. Like, you have, you, there's like all these things where you get like charged. It's like, really, you're holding my money and you're telling me how I have to hold my money with you guys? Um... I don't know how really they get away with that shit. Uh, I think it's kind of criminal, because... I mean, really think about it. Like, you give them money, which they use to make more money, and then they tell you how to basically save or spend your money every month, and... Or else they're like, we're gonna take some of your money. I mean, I know it's like a dollar or like two dollars a fine, but it's like bullshit. Like, my fucking money. Assholes. <laughs> I don't know. I might get a bank bank account with them. Try to find some, like, loophole. Usually I have a friend, um, or friends I convinced to help me out with that. Uh, but usually, uh, I take them out to lunch. But if, if, if I do that, uh, I'm bringing, like, a fat, a fat stack of cash, um, Oh, okay, this is that same roll. We found that um, silver quartering, same person. So let's, ho oh, okay, I already see some silver. Uh, oh, shit, oh, shit. Okay, there's four already. Oh, <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. What, what, is this just one silver? 1962 um wait are these three silver 1960 goddamn okay all right all right this is this is the shit i was talking about a few weeks ago 1963 okay <laughs> 1964 oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god. um yeah silver dimes only worth like two dollars maybe less Depending on, like, how you sell them. But <clears throat> I'm paying 10 cents for a dollar. 1960. Um. <laughs> okay, 1948. Some of these are probably off frame. I can't, I can't see that well. 1946. Uh, 1960, or 1956, 1964, um, anything else? Like, I mean, that was, that was a damn good roll. Uh, I'm not gonna argue with that. Um, kind of made those nickels I got worth it. Like, karma, you know? Uh, how many is this? Ten. Ten silvers. So, that's a new record for me. Um, the most I've ever gotten a roll was nine. So, <clears throat> probably gonna hear someone go, oh, I've gotten better. Okay, good for you. I'm really happy. Good for you. Okay. This is, this is something new for me, okay? Um, I don't, I don't understand what, what this, like, culture is where it's like, everyone has to one-up people. Like, it's like, oh man, I got this cool thing. Oh, well, my, my shit's better. Like, why, why you gotta be like a douche? Like, <sighs> I, I don't get it. Um, I personally, uh... Be happy with what you got and congratulate others for what they get. Unless it's like, uh, they kind of cheated to get it. And then it's like, hey, hey, you cheated. You didn't, like, earn it. Then it's like, it's not really something great. That's just, that's just me. I'm all about <coughs> earning my shit. Back to what I was saying about Walking Dead, though. Um, 
AMC said that like they're gonna do it indefinitely, probably till like zombie hordes, which is the people that watch the show, <laughs> are like fed up with this and then go on to something else. Um, I don't think that's ever gonna happen, honestly. Um, it's not like Game of Thrones where it's like a huge budget show. I mean, the only thing that's really gonna like make them that, that would probably kill the show eventually is like the actors being like we want more money and then the AMC is like well we can't pay you that much despite the ratings um, and then they might kill off some important character like Daryl Daryl might be like I don't think the guy that plays Daryl would be like that but you never know like maybe his agent will like like just be like hey my boy needs more money and then um, just all goes to shit um, Game of Thrones, last season, I don't know how I feel about it, it's going off book, um, George R. R. Martin needs to finish that shit, I don't know what his deal is, what he's doing, I'm just joking off my friend, uh, nothing in this role, every year he doesn't finish that, like, like that book, like The Winds of Winter, which was supposed to come out years ago, he, he, like, gets, like, two years of life, so, Essentially, he's going to live in, like, forever. It's like that... What's the guy with the painting, Dorian? Um, basically, Game of Thrones books are that painting. And George R. R. Martin is the man. And those books are never going to get finished. Uh, I heard, like, way long ago that... It was only supposed to be a trilogy, but it wasn't. Oh my god, this roll sucks. I mean, last season did have that blue eyes white dragon moment where it takes down the wall. Blue eyes white dragon. Anyone want to watch Yu-Gi-Oh? No? Okay, well then you don't know what we're talking about here. <laughs> oh man, I remember way back in the day watching that. I think I was in like high school when that came out. Oh my god, it's probably spent like over like $10,000 in Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They're all worthless now. Because you know what like the card companies like to do? They like to power creep the shit out of their cards or nerf them or something like that. Oh, last roll, same person. Um, I did rip off um, the labels before I started filming this just so that way... This woman does not get her address leaked to the internet, and oh, oh my god. Thank you so much, uh, lady. Um, you are making, like, this silver hunting so amazing. 1956. Uh, 1963. Um, 1946. Alright, alright. This is good. This is good. I'm liking this. I am liking this a lot. <laughs> Still finding more in this role. Okay. 1962. Um, uh, 1963. God damn. Like, this woman just did not know what she had. Silver core and silver dimes, like, and last week, Jesus. Maybe, like, she's just rolling up, like, a huge coin collection and then she to the bank for cash. Uh, 1964, 1946. All right. Uh, yes. <laughs> Let's see, how many was that this time? Uh... That was eight. Okay, that's my new record for dime roll hunting. Uh, 18 plus a silver quarter. I mean, that was actually a pretty damn good yield for considering <laughs> that was less than $200 for the coins. Um, this, this is, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, this is this is such a good night. This is such a good night. I'm so glad I dropped by the bank yesterday. <sighs> so
so yeah, that 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 was a pretty good session. Um, I hope to continue these videos. Because, uh, I mean, I do hit up the bank every Saturday whenever I get paid. Or whenever the bank calls me. I sometimes just call them every Saturday just to see what they got. Um, because I have been getting the silver lately. Um, yeah. All right. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, show off that final haul. <sighs> yes, bitch. <laughs> And I'm probably going to go polish them up. This one, it looks like someone fucking took a Sharpie to it. So, uh, hopefully this will be, maybe will shine when I'm done polishing it. Um, people are probably like, oh, the patina, I don't give a shit. Uh, I'm doing this for the melt value, not for, like, any sort of thing else but that. This is for me, my silver to whore, in case, you know, vampire apocalypse or anything like that. Or, you know, just want to check these on eBay or something. All right. See you guys. Have a great day. See you later.